This is a quick demonstration of making a uh, many padded grid on the Sensil Morph uh, using the Innovators overlay. Uh, there's some clunky things about the interface, so by following some of these uh, strategies, we can make it a lot easier to lay out and map the uh, interface uh, and the different pads. So the first thing I'm going to do is add an area. I'm going to be making a 64 item grid. Uh, so I want to make sure I'm in layout mode with my innovators overlay. And I'm going to make this uh, at all the way to the left and uh, just set it down uh, just below this top area. This is not great for plain uh, areas because it has magnets. Um, and so you, it's uh, better for utility buttons. Um, and I'm going to make it 23 wide and keep it 12 high. So uh, I can go ahead and select that. I'm going to have my grid snap at 2. And I'm going to duplicate this. And I'm actually going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first create a full column of eight rectangles. And uh, the having a grid snap to two just makes it a little bit easier to keep everything spaced nicely. And give me a couple more of these. And the reason I'm making the column first is because it's just easier to duplicate. Uh, all of these to make the rest of the grid. So I'm going to use the command button on Mac and on Windows it would be control. So you hold down the command or control and uh, click on each rectangle. And now we can select multiples and I'm going to duplicate that. Um, oops, actually I want to delete those areas. I'm going to try this again because I want to change my grid snap so it's a little bit bigger. And I'm going to change this to four millimeters. And now I'll duplicate it. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Okay, great. So now we have 64. Um, if it's bothering you that it's not perfectly centered, uh, I'm sorry about that. You can select, select them all and shift it over a little bit if you wanted to. Uh, what I like to do is uh, be able to use this area for some utility buttons like octave shift or maybe a big slider here uh, for filter control or something like that. Um, so now we have all of our um, grid made here and now we want to map these to uh, say notes. Uh, again, I'm going to use command click or actually control A will select all. And now I can set them all to a particular type. So um, this, of course, is assuming that I'm doing them all as MPE XYZ pads. And it sets them all up with the same note and the same type. Uh, so let's say we want this to be uh, C0. We want to start at C0. So I'll just go ahead and keep everything selected um, and change them all to C0. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use... Um, I'll set them to LED, and I'll keep these as the standard MPE settings. Um, now I'm going to use the command on Windows. You'd use Control to deselect this one. And now I'm going to go to, let's just, if we're going to do it serially, just go ahead and deselect. Um, it just makes it a little bit easier because uh, when you're doing things in order, it has the menu here selected, so I can just quickly select the next one. Um, rather than hunting for something in a higher octave. So as I go through, um, I will save you the pain of watching me do this, but that is the basic strategy um, of selecting them all and then sort of deselecting as you go. Um, so that is a quick way of laying out a grid in the innovators overlay. Uh, and it kind of goes for anything that uses a lot of buttons. You can use Command A to select all um, and use uh, the Command or Control key to do multiple selects or multiple deselects from a group. That is all. Hope that makes your life easier.